It's a cascado. It's a cascado. It all comes back. You can call me black, white, purple, green, yellow, pink, brown, blue, any color you choose. I am more than that. More than the minimum wage that you want to pay me. More than the 400 and something years in slavery. More than the CPEP, more than the URP. I am more than the J's, more than your blasted judiciary. I am more than any of your newly invented laws. More than me and your flaws put together. I am more than the weather, more than the sun, more than the rain. Do you still think you can tell me about pain? All right. I am more than your lynching, more than your pension to feed me from something I myself sold. Shouldn't I be the one to reap? No, I should be the one to sleep mentally while you oppress, rape. Take me from a land where I was a king to a land where I became the slave and of an ex you know. A little old story. I hope you all listen. If you all listen carefully, you will catch. Right? So just picture me sitting in this cafe, right? Waiting on this female, right? As I sit here, thoughts of you play track and feel in my mind. While my body parts feels like somehow we are running out of time. My eyes prefer to remain closed unless my ears hear you calling. My lips prefer to remain shut unless to you they are talking. My hands would not touch. My feet dare not walk. My nose long to smell your presence just to capture that smell in his nasal thoughts. I am missing you. Missing you already. Missing you like my stomach misses food, like a baby who misses its mommy, like a fish who misses water, like a bank who misses its money. I'm not joking. And this show ain't funny because I am really missing this flawless African beauty. I had reached to that extent where I started to question myself as to when she would be turned. Suddenly she appears with that dark blue dress and ethnic slippers to match and that thing she wrapped her hair in. I call it a tie dye scarf. My eyes clapped, my feet snapped, my entire body cheered. I became like a car that now started, I went right back to first gear. She sat down, and yes, conversation did continue, but still yet, I forgot to mention the emotions I experienced a while ago, when she went to visit the washroom. <laughs> Hi, my name is Naim Bilal. Well, I've been performing like stage performances for like the past, uh, like you say, about six or seven years, but I've been writing for like about ten. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, tell me about the second song. Okay. Uh, the second piece was titled Cafe, The Cafe, yeah. right? It's actually a love piece that actually took place. Oh, right? Real yes, it, it was. Real yes, it was based on real life events. I was actually sitting in this cafe waiting on a female, right? But the waiting period was a short period. She actually, all she actually did was actually went to the washroom and come back. And that was my emotions within that short space of time. Yeah. Um, how do you see the future of spoken word in Trinidad? Uh, I see the future. In the future, I see spoken word evolving. Once the poets and the spoken word artists remain persistent, okay. yeah, I see our evolution. Although when you dress, you still appear naked. And three is just a point I gave you for free, encouraging you to change, not for me, but for the children of our future. Can't you see that you're a jewel of nature? A river to drink from when there's no water. A sudden calm that comes after a storm. A warm night in the winter that blasts that away after being cut by a splinter. My mothers, my sisters, hopefully one day I'll have a daughter. And I'll ask her to read this poem, please, because this is more than a poem to me. It's like a touch of reality.